time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm still on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look, look, I understand you're angry, but please... Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad too! Alright? I mean, you're not... You're not the only one dealing with this! And what a fine son you turned out to be. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. <clears throat> I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. You want me around more? Fine. But goddamn, are you still one raging asshole? You know that. You can call me whatever you want. As long as you're here to do it to my face. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on.
Mama. Where were you? I tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. David made arrangements with your father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <gasps> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! On the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. No! It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. And why does that matter again? 
Assuming you told me before and I wasn't listening. I've worked out how to track how fast they're moving, to know how far ahead of them we are. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. You want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Uh, it was like three days ago. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah, no thanks. One of us should be... sober. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him, I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but... Yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Gabe's been... emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. <sighs> emotional? <laughs> Right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? Sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Get laid. <laughs> I realize that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. You know, the kids can hear you. But no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents. Still. Hmm. <sighs> What's that smell? That's gross. We're, um... We're smoking weed, Mariana. Well, at least Kate is. 
What? It, it's true. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Ugh. Oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? Alright. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop. You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. Uh, a water bottle? <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. You can't just ignore us, Mariana. Well, at least... Yeah, don't ignore me. I only do it in the van. And only when things are... You know... Uncomfortable. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you would find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Nothing good left. Someone picked it clean. Just rotting bits of old rubber and tires. Most of the dashboard is torn out. Seats are gone. Eh, this thing's dead. Hey, any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Or a pencil. Just something to write with. Yeah, 
I guess you are a little too old for crayons now. I guess so. Last night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. I just think that might be kind of important. Maybe. You're better off leaving the past where it is. Otherwise, you never stop looking backwards. Looks a whole lot better than what's in front of us. I'll help. In a minute. Waste oil. No use to us. Oh, that's gross. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. You find anything? I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. Can't charm your way out of that one. And we'd be gone in seconds. Uh, but I'd still try to charm them. What would I have to lose? It'd be pretty amusing, I'm sure. Until our eyeballs were ripped out of our skulls. There's gonna be a last one, you know? A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next, and the next. We're not gonna let that happen, okay? <sighs> okay, I let it have its five minutes. I'm good. Once, this car made someone very happy. Now it sits here, rotting away. Así es la vida. I wouldn't have minded having one of these back in the day. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. What's going on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but he won't. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just, we're in that car for so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and then it ain't my last damn tape. Well, that's a sweet idea, but it's safer to keep moving. I don't know, maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm... around. This one looks promising. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Tires, paint cans, old newspaper, 
<sighs> All that's left in this junkyard is... junk. <sighs> Nothing up there but garbage. Some sort of fuel tank. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe? Stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. <gasps> hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Shit, locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Ransacked a long time ago. able to get in through the hatch. Locked. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Well, no more at those at least. Let's just be careful. to see these. Wow! This place is decked out! Oh, it looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross.
Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Oh, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress, someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Well, you gotta admit, it's kinda cozy in here. The van is cozy. This is creepy. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once? Come on, you know it's not a big deal. We've got guns. We can protect ourselves. And we'll feel so much better after some real sleep. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! Kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> Just in case. Cool. You can have your own. Oh, guess what? Uh, now, you can really drown us out. <laughs> I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. No need to change what's already working. Cool Uncle Javi. Why? Because you used to hit balls with sticks for money? Real cool. No, I'm cool because I used to hit them really far. Also, people who are actually cool don't say cool as much. Grab some gas. We're out of here in a few hours. Hey, uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the, the gas is all there. You just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. They're out scouting around, but they'll be back soon. They're not going to be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here, waiting to make an ambush. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly.
Looks like you and your friends had a real feast, huh? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. Look, look, I I'll get you more food. Okay, I can replace everything, I That's swear. That's the goddamn least you can do. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. You have no idea who you're fucking with here. I think I'm fucking with somebody who's full of shit. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Don't open that. Hey, I'm warning you. You open that and you're dead. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Guys, get the fuck in here! <laughs> Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. You have to go back! My family's back there. Hey, you gotta listen to me. There's a herd coming, a massive one, and yeah, we... Yeah, and that's why we're driving away from it. Please, just... Stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Cause I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck.
What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Call it what you want. You're a thief. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Hey, that's fine with me. I don't trust you either. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Now, come on. This whole silent loner thing you got going on? Just be real with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? You want me to trust you? Give me a reason. 
Don't make me regret this. Come on! One of these days, those doors are going to close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I'm not the one you should be worried about. Well, you know the score around here, Clementine. Don't do anything that would make me want to pick you up and throw you the fuck out. And I won't pick you up and throw you the fuck out. My boots weigh more than you. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. Look, in the middle of all that... If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know... It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you... make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Huh. 
play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Nah, he just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop. Seriously, this isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was- Stop, just stop talking. And you, thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor, she'll fix you up. Till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right.
Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, you've come to the right place. I could use a doctor. You know one? I'm not a doctor, but these days, EMT is the best you're gonna get. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. Call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. I'm getting the feeling you've done this before. What makes you say that? You've got the whole thing down pat. You know, gauze, antibiotics, charming bedside manner. Yeah, I've done it once or twice. A day. <clears throat> so, I have to ask. Is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. You put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. News travels fast around here. Uh, that's only sort of true. She didn't mean to kill him. It just sort of... It happened. Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <sighs> I've never understood it. See, that's where you got me wrong. I'm the furthest thing there is from trouble. Yeah, well... We'll see about that. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger. But that girl... Clementine... There's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Maybe she's just a scared kid. She's got issues, and that's for sure. She wears it on her sleeve. In my somewhat professional opinion, you said it. She is useful, though. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. Oh, you know how family is. Yeah, I get you. Let go of me! There you go. Trip, what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Because frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate, down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight, all three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Whoa, wait a second. Why are you helping me? Well, you told me you weren't in any trouble. So, I'm gonna take your word on it. Huh. I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is... I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. I'm not apologizing for that. You killed a man. You were out of line. You know I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> Just goes to show you, you can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... I'm done talking. 
It'll be a while before that herd passes, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night. What you drawing there, goofball? Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second, I'll figure it out. Is it me? <laughs> it is me. I knew it. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. Th th there's a lot of them. Too many of them. I, I don't like the looks of it. How bad is bad? Pack your stuff and be ready to run bad. They got a lot of cars and they're seriously pissed off. This is gonna get ugly. I know it. And pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Very Essentials, come on. We fucking begged you, man. Our people are sick and starving. It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Your... Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Hey, Clem. We almost there. Uh, Clementine. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Tape player. 
Moriana? Moriana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. See all of you. Happy you're all okay. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been. But then, you showed up, just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. Soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Just someone I met. Clementine. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Between you and me? These kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. It's a hell of a thing. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woo-hoo about, that's all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. That van was the only ride I had a lead on. So maybe it's time to renegotiate. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool.
Thanks. needs a doctor, which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. Kate, are you okay? I'm fine. Really? She's not. And the longer it takes us to get out of here, the worse off she's gonna be. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! I already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Uh, Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Please! Javi, come on! I have to stay with my family. Go! I'll hold them off! Wake up! Kate!